1. Roman numerals. The Romans used a numeral system that has played a significant role in shaping the modern system we use today. Despite their ancient origins, Roman numerals find application in various aspects of contemporary life. They are still favored in several cases such as I indicating the hours on clock faces 2, assigning numbers to chapters in books 3, marking the order of movie sequels. Roman concrete. The Romans were skilled builders and used a unique type of concrete, which allowed them to construct durable and long-lasting structures. The recipe for this exceptional concrete included a mix of volcanic ash, lime, and seawater. The result was a material that became increasingly hardened over time. 3. The Colosseum Sunshade. This remarkable structure in Rome featured a retractable awning referred to as the Valerium. 3.1. This vast stretch of canvas enveloped the seating area, casting a cool shadow for the audience during scorching days. 4. Lead Poisoning Some historians believe that lead poisoning contributed significantly to the fall of the Roman Empire. The Romans used lead extensively in their daily lives such as in the plumbing system denoted by 4.1 and the production of wine containers showcased in 4.2. 5. Roman Baths Public baths were an essential part of Roman culture. An amazing fact about these is that the Baths of Caracalla in Rome could accommodate around 1,600 bathers at the same time. These weren't just about bathing, they were famed for their hot and cold pools, saunas, and fitness zones. Chariot racing was a celebrated sport in ancient Rome, highlighting our journey through history. The Circus Maximus, a mammoth chariot racing stadium, was the central arena for this electrifying event and could accommodate up to 150,000 spectators. Drawing our attention to the four main teams, each was known as factions. They were distinguished by their individual colors, red, blue, green, and white, adding a splash of color to our historical exploration. Roman roads. The Romans were indeed maestros in road construction. Their comprehensive road network provided an efficient route for communication, trade, and the movement of troops across the empire. This forms the foundation of our discussion on Roman roads. The popular adage, all roads lead to Rome, encapsulates the essence of the Roman road system serving as its pivotal center. Vomitorium's Myth Contrary to popular belief, a vomitorium in ancient Rome was not a room designed for individuals to purge their overindulgence during grand feasts. In fact, the term vomitorium was used to describe the efficient passageways that permitted large crowds to exit swiftly from the bustling amphitheaters and grand stadiums. 9. Gladiators were predominantly slaves or criminals, and their clashes in the arena served as a form of amusement for the Roman populace. Despite the brutal nature of the sport, a number of triumphant gladiators escalated to star status, gaining a fan base of their own. 9.1 Gladiators were typically slaves or criminals. 9.2 Gladiator battles were a method of entertainment in Roman civilization. 9.3 Victorious gladiators had the potential to achieve star status and earn fan followings. E. Romans and catapults. The Romans were known for their military innovations, particularly their early use of siege weapons like the ballista and onager, precursors to the modern catapult. Pointers 10.1 and 10.2 delineate that these contraptions were regularly employed during conflicts and sieges, either for launching projectiles or for breaking down obstructive fortifications. Stay curious and keep exploring.